All right, so Jim, you start with the forwards, and Gertie, you point out which ones you disagree on. Let's do it. All right, so so front row. Now, we will speed through, but I went with Wynne Jones, obviously the Welsh loose head, and I said that he's going to be a starting loose head, and everyone was like, ha ha, sending me emojis. Ha ha ha, to you. So I've got Wynne Jones, Joe Marler. He's not really a bolter. Some people, he's, or a belter, we might be a belter, but some people are saying that he's a bolter. He's not really. He didn't want to go on... He didn't want to go in the Six Nations, uh, but I think he'll be get picked because there isn't much to choose from. Rory Sutherland's injured, I hear. Well, I'm going to disagree with Marla, Jim, and the only reason being, and I think this might be a fairly logical argument, I, on playing terms, yeah, I think he should definitely go. But he's openly said he didn't want to be part of the Six Nations because he couldn't handle the bubble and didn't want to be away from his family. We're talking about going to South Africa for eight weeks and being in Jersey for two weeks in a bubble away from your family. So that's why I, I haven't picked him because if you're Warren Gatland, you phone him up saying, oh, mate, do you fancy this bubble or not? And I get it, it's a tough one, but I think if you're if it's touch and go, that's why I've got Mako Vinopola. How bad? I didn't even think, how bad? I didn't even think of Mako Vinopola. How bad is that of me? Why being horrible? Why being horrible? Uh, there's too many names. That's the thing. There's too many names. Um, Jamie George. Now, I'm not sure that Jamie George is cemented on. I'll be honest. I don't know why I'm being mm. horrible, but that's just IMO. Luke Cowan Dickey, brilliant, powerful, need a bit of that. Ken Owens. Yeah. Now, I think it could be between Ken Owens and George Turner, but Ken Owens, experienced Welsh. We love the Welsh, they love us. All love hey, Ken, Owens, Ken Owens is going. For me, I think Kelleher, if he'd have had a big game at the weekend, he might have had a sniff instead of Jamie George, potentially. But yeah, mate, Ken Owens is definitely going. He's one of Warren Gatlin's favourite players. There we go. Well, you've told me. And... I'll speak to Warren and see if that is true. Uh, Ty Furlong, <laughs> of course. 100%. Uh, Xander Fagerson, Xander Ferguson, Xander Fagerson, mm. however you want to call it, but mm. I know it's Xander Fagerson. Uh, mate, quality player, all rounder. I would say he is up there with my next pick in the front row of Andrew Porter. So I think Xander's great over ball. Um, you need to take some Scotland players. And uh, I think he's definitely in. So I've gone for Ty Furlong, Carl Sinclair. And Thomas Francis. So my two differing picks to you are Carl Sinclair and Thomas Francis. Yeah, because I went for Andrew Porter. So we will see. Look, it's just opinion, Andrew. So I'm yeah. doing the forwards. I'm the expert, mate. So we'll see. You are. Um, second rows. Now, you know, <laughs> if if I don't know me second rows, then who bloody does? Um, Alan Wynne jones I think there's a general consensus across the board now that he's going to be captain. Although yes. I'm, st I'm still hearing whispers that Marrow's in with a shout. But... Again, we'll speak to Gats after this and see what he's thinking. Uh, Marrow, obviously. Now, I've changed one of my locks. Ooh. and you can, I be, Yeah, I have, yeah. After the weekend. And more because me and Stephen Ferris were chatting on Friday when Leicester were playing Ulster. And Ian Henderson has been out injured and now he's back. I'm putting Ian Henderson in there instead of James Ryan because my other lock is uh, Ty Burton. No. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. so I've gone James Ryan instead of Henderson. Henderson went on the last Yeah, go on. Yeah, my four are Alan Jones, Marrow, James Ryan, and Tug Byrne. Because on the the second, like James Ryan's an out and out lock. Not that Ian Henderson isn't, but Ian Henderson last time I think went as a six slash back row. You know, Laws yeah. as well can do the same. Marrow can do the same. Tug Byrne can obviously do the same, but. Does that open up an extra back row? Because could you take Ty Byrne as a six? Well, who knows? It's up for debate. But if you're talking about right here, right now, what I think are the four best locks, I don't. You know what? I'm easily manipulated as well. So if you told me one thing, I believe you, and I'll probably change my mind. Let's just stick with them four in the second row. Back row. So, st so still no Johnny Gray. I, I why, why Johnny, being horrible? Why being horrible, Jim? No, I, I saw some stats at the weekend. Now on Johnny Gray, his work rate is phenomenal, as we know. His rook count, uh, his tackle, his carries, and there's a question around his kind of effectiveness in terms of meters made or his physicality in the collisions. I've done a, a bit of digging, looked at some stats at the weekend. So Alan Wynne Jones misses more tackles, gives away more penalties. But in the collisions that he is involved in, the tackles especially, he makes a lot more dominant tackles. Now, I thought before this, stupidly, I don't know, naively thought that Alan Wynne-Jones shouldn't go. Now, when I look at the makeup of these locks, I don't think he's, I think he's the fourth best lock that I've chosen. But off the back of digging into some of them stats, the physicality that he still possesses around the tackle and these areas that you're going to need to around South Africa, you know, he warrants his place. But Johnny Gray, who, who, who do you leave out? That's the thing. 
Um, yeah. it, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes. Yeah, big question from me to you then. As a second row, as a 69 cap international with three victories all over tier three nations, tier two nations, whatever. Um, can Marrow and Alan Jones play together? And can they both run a line out? Who would call the line outs? Who? Because you need someone. One of them needs to be uh, absolute line out normals. Who would it be if they were to play together? Well, this is the issue. Wales is line out shy. Let's be honest. It always has been. Um, and Alan Wynne Jones has been in the middle of that. Maro Toji would call the line out. So simple as that. He's, he's, been, he's been coached, he's been mentored by the best. So simple answer. <laughs> Back row, uh, Hamish Watson. I think that yes. it would have been close between him and Sam Simmons. They play very similar. I, w- I won't be surprised if Sam Simmons goes, but I've picked Hamish Watson because he's amazing. Uh, Tom Curry, physicality, as we know, in the tackle. Felipe yes. Falatao has rocked up in the Six Nations. He's been he was yes. standout. Great for him. Justin Tipperick, Gats loves him. Wheels. Clean as a whistle, effective. Yeah, he's just unbelievable. Sam Underhill. Um, no, no, you don't think I, at the weekend he, there was parts that he played well, but I just think that he suits the way that you. Let, let me say the back row. You can mix them in. Sam Underhill plays the way that you need to play against South Africa, all out physicality, stop them dead in their tracks. Not many people can do that. Curry can. Um, and I think Underhill can as well. The next two are really difficult because I went for, like I had Josh Navidi in there. Now, it for, for me with Josh Navidi and CJ Stander, so we'll add CJ Stander in there as well. I wouldn't have picked Josh Navidi if Ty Byrne was a six. And then you put an, you put a Johnny Gray in there as well. So it's a tough one. They weren't, you know what? The, the names weren't rolling off the tongue. I'll be honest. Um, in the back row, I thought they would be, but I think it's more difficult because the only out and out ball carrier in that, in terms of in the tight, is Falata. Obviously, mm. Watson carries, but a little bit out wider. And there's loads of talk about Billy Bonapola not going. So maybe there is an argument for Sam Simmons, Andrew. Yes, yes. Well, I've gone Justin Tipperick, Curry. Hamish Watson, Toby Falatau, Sam Simmons, Josh Navidi, and Josh van der Fleer. Didn't you have Conan the Barbarians on the, in, in there I before? Thought about, yeah, I thought about Conan the Barbarian, Jack Conan. Um, but I don't, I just, yeah, physicality at the weekend wasn't there. Van der Fleer played well, so it was touch and go between those two, so I'm going van der Fleer. All right, Gertie, do you want to do the same with the backs? You name the backs, and Jim, you can uh, disagree or let us know which ones you disagree on. Yes, so we'll start off with scrum half, James. I picked three scrum halves. I've gone for Connor Murray, Gareth Davis, and Ali Price. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, the debate around Ali Price, and my mate flagged this up with me because we love our brothers and we were talking about it. There's a bit of talk about Ben Spencer going. I can see potentially a Ben Spencer being picked. I, I, I struggle to see Danny Kerr, uh, albeit there's a load around him. But Ali Price, if you think back to the Six Nations, and he's a great player, oh, I want him to go and I think he will go. But charged down by Marrow in that game against England a few times, mm. charged down against Ireland as well, and then which uh, off the back of that, they scored and won the game. So, it, you know, is that... It, I don't know why I'm... But I'm, I'm so Scottish. Look at me. Look at me. He's going. Ali Price is going. Keep going. There we go. Uh, three fly halves. I've gone Dan Bigger, who we'll speak to about that later. Uh, Finn Russell and Owen Farrell. Here, here. Here, here. Sexton. Yeah, I've not picked Sexton. Just, it, I mean, the concussion thing. And it's a serious issue. Um, you know, I, if you're squeezing three fly halves into... So if you're squeezing four fly halves into three slots, which you are, someone might miss out. Um, and I just think because I've gone 16 backs, you can only really go three fly halves uh, and you consider Owen Farrell a fly half. I know he will cover centre as well. Um, but yeah, sexing cause, just because of injuries, really. So, so far you've got two Scots. Yes. And it doesn't end there, James. Oh, does not end there. Does not end there. Uh, centres, John Davis, uh, Robbie Henshaw, Gary Ringrose and Henry Slade. No, Chris Harris. No, Chris Harris, I'm afraid. No, I like Harris. Good mates from playing with him at Newcastle. Um, and I, I can, I understand it. I hear it. But I just think Slade, I just, I've just got more of a man crush on Slade, to be honest. Well, if even, you, though, even though if, the extra boys say his breath is horrific. If, if you're going on looks, I'll, I'll pick him as well. Like I would, but 
<laughs> it's a ridiculous statement, but you've got to pick more than two Scots so far. Because I know you're going to pick two probably in the next set that you talk about, or maybe I don't know. I don't know what your squad is, but and I picked I picked a good. nine or ten. I've not picked a centre, although you know Sam Johnson was a close one uh, as well as Chris Harris. Um, but yeah. Well, I picked Harris instead of Ringrose, which is ridiculous because I probably I'm just easily manipulated. I'm happy to go either <laughs> way here. <laughs> and then back three, I've gone Stuart Hogg, obviously, uh, Anthony Watson, Josh Adams, Lewis Reese Zamet, Liam Williams, and Duan van der Merwe. So there's another Scott for you, Jim. There's a South African Scott for you, Jim. Well, yeah, South African Scott. It'll be interesting to see if they pick Duan van der Merwe. Uh, test match animal. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it all, lads. There's just too many names. But a lot of names, a lot of names. Yeah, a lot of names, a lot of names. I'm excited. I'm, ex- I'm excited, but I'm also, you know, every time it comes around in four years, I'm a bit sad. All right, well, 29 out of 36, not far away, guys. 29, the same characters. Experts, aren't we? Well, we'll see when Warren Gatlin names his squad. Um, I'm, I'm hearing that there could be. I haven't put, I haven't really put any in there except for maybe Sam Simmons. I'm hearing there could be a few surprises. Uh, you know, Marcus Smith has been mentioned as mm. well. Um, I can't see that though. With the four potential fly halves you've got to choose from um, in Bigger, Russell, Farrell, and Sexton, I, listen, I, I think Marcus Smith's a wonderful talent. I just don't think he's, you know, should be in that mix yet. Um, but hey, who knows? Gats isn't scared to pick who he wants, however he sees fit. You've got to be adaptable. You've got to have something different to beat South Africa. We've seen Wales with Warren Ball. Does it beat South Africa? I think you might need a, a bit of X factor. So, um, yeah, who knows? Maybe Marcus Smith gets in on that fact. But Finn Russell is definitely in the mix for it, I think. 